Welcome to the Kansas Department of Agriculture Milk Hauler and Sampler Video Training Series. This is Video 1, Introduction, General Licensing Information, Equipment, and Tanker Inspection and Unloading. In this video, we'll cover your role in the dairy industry, how this video series is organized, licensing requirements, evaluations, and inspections, equipment you must have with you on your route, tanker inspection and unloading. As a milk hauler, you're a vital link in bringing America's dairy products from the farm to the consumer. Hauling milk is a job with a lot of important responsibilities. You have to be trained, skilled, and licensed to safely and courteously operate a sizable motor vehicle and collect representative milk samples. You are an ambassador for the dairy industry and highly visible to the public. You serve a vital role in ensuring a quality product because you have more contact with producers than almost anybody else in the dairy industry. It's imperative that you always maintain a clean, professional appearance. You have two primary functions. First, you measure the volume of milk you pick up. Therefore, your actions are crucial to the producer's income because they're paid on volume. Second, you must safeguard the quality and purity of the milk you haul. You have the right to refuse to accept milk from a producer if it doesn't meet standards. Your work is also crucial in keeping the milk safe to be used to make dairy products like cheese or yogurt. In fact, maintaining quality and safety is your most important job. When you pick up milk, one of your main concerns will be preventing the contamination of the milk and the surfaces the milk touches. You must perform your duties correctly. Therefore, the Kansas Department of Agriculture requires that all milk haulers and samplers be licensed, which is why you're watching these videos, why you'll take a test, and why you'll be evaluated by a state inspector. This applies to you whether you're a full-time, part-time, or relief milk hauler or sampler. The licensing and monitoring of milk haulers is one of the major duties of the Dairy Inspection Program with the Kansas Department of Agriculture, or KDA, which produced this video. KDA can also evaluate haulers who are licensed by other states but operate in Kansas. All licensed Kansas milk haulers are evaluated at least once a year by KDA while they are working. You will also have to pass a written exam every three years to keep your license. These videos and tests are designed to help you get and keep your Kansas bulk milk haulers license. By training you, KDA also wants to ensure proper milk sampling, collection, and transportation procedures to protect the food supply. This first video and test cover general licensing procedures and regulations for milk haulers and samplers. We'll get to those procedures and regulations in just a minute. In the second video and test, we'll discuss milk composition and quality, discuss in the field and laboratory testing performed on milk, and why these tests are crucial to milk quality and public safety. And in the third video and test, we'll define food defense, cover why it's crucial, and why your role is important in maintaining a safe food supply. Next, you will watch and take the test for at least one of the remaining three videos. Different types of dairy facilities use different ways to store and transport the milk, and different ways to test the milk. Your employer will let you know which videos apply to your work. These last three videos cover on-farm bulk milk tanks, direct loading milk tankers, and direct loading milk tankers with inline sampling systems. As we said before, you must have a license to haul or sample milk. It is illegal to haul milk without a hauler's license. And if you do so, you could jeopardize your chances of ever obtaining a license. If you're found performing bulk hauling duties without a currently valid license, the truck you're driving may be detained until a licensed hauler can take over its operation. Get your license and keep it current to avoid this very expensive and job-threatening situation. The first step toward becoming licensed is to secure training from a licensed milk hauler or state inspector. Your employer will have information about how you do this. 
Once you've completed your training, you can watch these videos and take the tests that follow each one. Please follow the links after each video to take the test corresponding with the video. If you are unable to access a computer to watch these videos and take the tests online, please contact your local dairy inspector or the Kansas Department of Agriculture office. When you pass the written test, have a satisfactory evaluation and pay for your license. A license will be issued to you. You must carry it with you and have it available for inspection at all times while you're on the job. You will need to renew your license before July 1st of every year. You can renew it without taking the test again when you are evaluated, complete an application, and make your payment, unless your license was canceled, suspended, or not renewed for the previous year. Every three years, all milk haulers must review the Kansas Milk Haulers Handbook or these videos and complete a written or online test with a passing score. In addition to satisfactory completion of testing, your milk sanitation and sampling procedures have to be evaluated by a dairy inspector each year to keep your license valid. If you're a new hauler, you'll be evaluated within 30 days after your license is issued. If during your evaluation, the inspector sees any violation of sampling procedures, he or she will discuss it with you at that time. If violations are found, you'll also be notified in writing. You'll be expected to correct any violations and you'll have a follow-up evaluation. If you haven't corrected the violations, your hauler's license will be suspended. Before initiating legal action, the Dairy Commissioner will give you the opportunity for a hearing. Besides evaluation of how you're doing your job, you must always keep in mind that anything that comes in contact with the milk you test and haul must be sanitary and in good condition. For instance, your truck, tank, and apparatus will be inspected at least once a year at the plant, receiving station, or transfer station. All this equipment must be of sanitary design and construction, and the tank must meet 3A sanitary standards for farm pickup service. The inspector will check the following items for cleanliness and condition. The truck, tank, pump, and hoses. The dome lid gasket and air relief valve. Your transfer instrument, sample case, and containers you'll collect milk samples in. The inspector will check for proper truck identification, including the name and address of the individual or corporate owner. The tanker will also be checked to make sure it is properly identified. The inspector will check the outside of the truck for cleanliness and will need to see the most recent wash tag. The most recent tanker evaluation form must accompany the truck or trailer and be available for review at all times. Once the truck, tank, and equipment pass inspection, a Department of Agriculture inspection decal will be affixed to the tanker. Each day before you start on your pickup route, you must make sure you have all the equipment you need to do your job. All the items on this checklist have to be in your truck and in good working order. Failure to have these items and keep them in proper condition may mean that you or your vehicle won't pass your mandatory inspection, and that could mean at least the temporary loss of your ability to work as a milk hauler. One. The tank and transfer equipment must be properly washed and sanitized. Two, before beginning to load a milk tanker, verify that the wash tag or sanitizing tag is affixed to the tanker and is in compliance. Do not load milk into the tanker if the time requirement of 96 hours has expired. The wash tag must include the date, time, and location at which the tank was cleaned and sanitized and it must have the signature or initials of the person who cleaned and sanitized the truck. Three, you must have the following supplies and equipment in your truck every time you start your route. You'll need an adequate supply of sample containers properly stored and protected from contamination. Sample containers you may use, depending on the type of dairy you collect from, include files or whirl packs, Anderson bottles, or QMI bags. You also must have a sample transfer instrument with prepared sanitizing solution in a suitable covered container 
with one of the following approved sanitizers and test kit. 200 parts per million chlorine, or a solution of greater than 12 parts per million iodine or equivalent, or a solution with pH less than 4.0 when using an acid sanitizer. You will also need an insulated sample case with adequate ice or other refrigerant to maintain the sample temperature between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, you also need to have a metal stemmed thermometer with an unbreakable plastic window. Your thermometer must be calibrated at a certified laboratory to an accuracy of plus or minus one degree Fahrenheit at least once every six months. The laboratory will list the date it was last checked, the correction factor, and the checker's initials on a label attached to the thermometer case. You'll also need a supply of other items, including a pen with waterproof ink to mark samples, a watch or other timing device, plenty of milkway tickets with a pen to record the information, and single-use paper towels. Every morning before you start your route, make sure your truck is in good working order, that the wash tag shows your truck has been cleaned and sanitized, and that you have all of your equipment. Remember, your truck can be inspected at any time by the Kansas Department of Agriculture, so make sure you're prepared for your workday. As you transport and unload milk throughout your day, you must keep in mind some general principles that will keep the milk suitable for consumption. During transporting and unloading milk, never open the manhole cover of the truck tank. Also take care that all samples in your sample container are kept between 32 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit. When unloading, you're required to use a dome filter on the tank manhole cover to protect against the entry of dust and insects. The truck tank and transfer equipment must be cleaned after each use, or if in continuous use for several loads, at the end of each day. Remember, no matter who is assigned to clean and sanitize the equipment, ensuring the sanitary condition of the unit is your responsibility as the licensed hauler. It's your license on the line. A wash tag must be filled out every time a tank is cleaned and sanitized. The most recent wash tag must remain with the tanker for inspection. Finally, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, stresses that haulers and operators at bulk milk tank transfer stations understand the importance of following proper procedures in order to safeguard the food supply from intentional contamination by persons wishing to cause harm. This is called food defense. We will learn more about food defense in video three, but there are a few basic principles you must keep in mind as you go about your workday. Raw milk shipments must have either locked or sealed openings and display a serial number from the last time the tanker was washed up until the time the load is delivered. An authorized person must always supervise incoming or offloading of milk, and someone must compare the amount actually received with the amount listed on the shipping documents. Another important measure is to establish delivery schedules for raw milk. Do not accept unexplained or unscheduled milk deliveries. Investigate any delayed or missed shipments. Report any suspicious activity to your local law enforcement agency. Thank you for watching video one. General licensing information, equipment, and tanker inspection and unloading. In this video, we covered your role in the dairy industry, how this video series is organized, licensing requirements, evaluations and inspections, equipment you must have with you on your route, tanker inspection and unloading. You can watch this video again or take the test.